हेलो फ्रेंड्स स्टैंडर्ड इलेवन केमिस्ट्री यूनिट टू स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम पार्ट ट्वेल्व टूडेज टॉपिक इज टू बी कंटिन्यू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ एटम लास्ट टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ बैरेलियम नाउ लेट सी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ बोरॉन इट्स नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर फाइव डेट्स वाई इट एज पर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन रूल ऑफ पो प्रिंसिपल इलेक्ट्रॉन फर्स्ट एंटर इन टू द लोएस्ट एनर्जी लेवल और बेटर सो वन एस टू देन आफ्टर टू एस टू एंड रिमेनिंग ऑफ वन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंटर इन टू टू पी और बेटर ओके टोटल नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन टू प्लस टू फोर प्लस वन दैट इज इक्वल टू फाइव नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स and their spin is in opposite direction now for px py and pz this 2p 2s and 1s so one electron enters into px orbital okay now next example that is nitrogen atom here number of electrons are seven electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 and 2p3 four electrons and remaining of three electrons enter into 2p orbital okay 1s and 2s has only one orbital that's why maximum electrons can remain two that's why their electron spin is in opposite spin now now for 2p orbital it has px py and pz and we have three electrons so first electrons enter into px then remaining of two electrons either it is enter into px py or pz so as per hohn's rule of maximum multiplicity now we can write here its electronic configuration as per single electron is entered into px py and pz so hund's rule is deal with the filling of electrons into orbitals belonging to the same subcell okay here these three orbitals has same energy and same energy orbitals are called d generate okay so this rule is deals with filling of electron into orbitals belonging to same subcell or called orbital of equal energy same energy or here another word equal 
energy or called d generate okay for example here let's say for p sub cell we have three orbitals px py and pz in p sub cell maximum number of electrons six electrons can remain okay so entering of electrons into px py and pz and their pin remaining parallel and this pattern is said to be as half filled orbital and suppose suppose px py and pz has total number of six electrons that means all orbitals are filled with six electrons that's why it is called completely filled orbital okay so when electrons enter into the orbital of equal energy subcell they are arranged in a such a way that that direction of their spin remains parallel when all subcells are occupied with electron having parallel spin then after it pairing of electrons occur then that means now the electrons enter into the opposite direction okay and it completes their orbital so pairing of electron in the orbitals belonging to the same subcell belonging to the same subcell that is p d f p d and f p has 3 orbitals d has 5 and f has 7 okay they have same or equal energy and it is called degenerate so pairing of electron in the orbitals belonging to the same subcell does not take place does not take place each orbital each orbital belonging to the belonging to that subcell has get one one electron each okay so here electrons first enter into px py and pz and then after it pairing okay so one electron each that is singly bonded so this is the rule of Hunt's okay now in subcell all available 
degenerate orbital degenerate that means they have equal energies orbitals are occupied singly first and then pairing of electron in each orbital occurs here let's see for example for oxygen eight number of electrons eight so 1s2 2s2 and 2p 4 2 plus 2 4 and remaining of 4 electrons enter into 2p orbital so here px py and pz is called degenerate orbitals they are occupied singly first that means here we have four number of electrons that's why it enters into px then after it one by one enters into py and pz so their spin remaining parallel and then after and then pairing of electrons in each orbital that means here four electrons fourth electron is enter into px orbital okay now let's see for fluorine number of electrons are nine so one s2 two s2 and two p five so for here number of electrons 2 and here for 2p px py and pz electrons filled in degenerate orbitals their electrons spin is parallel here 1 2 3 and remaining of two electrons enter into opposite direction that means it's their spin is opposite so fluorine has one single one unpaired electron unpaired electron oxygen has two unpaired electrons oxygen has two unpaired electron and one two three three paired electron paired that means two electrons pair electron that means two electron that means here total number of electrons are one two three four five six and seven and Eight, but in eight electrons two electrons are single and remaining of six electron here three pair of electrons okay and here for fluorine atom has one electron that is unpaired electron and oxygen has two unpaired electron so this concept is very most important for further study and chemical bonding okay so next time we will discuss another topic thank you very much